Villa Viewers and New Media Peeps, what's up? It's me, John D. Villarreal, and Paula Villarreal over there. Now, we just watched yesterday one of the craziest and weirdest UFC events ever. We had BJ Penn versus uh, Frankie Edgar. We had uh, Damian Maya versus um, uh, Anderson Silva. Those are both two title fights. We had um, Frank, uh, sorry, Matt Hughes versus one of the Gracies. It was really crazy. Paul, what are your impressions of this before I lay these people on blast? Well, a couple things, John. Uh, first of all, Anderson Silva is being widely, you know, condemned, including by Dana White for his lackluster, you know, taunty, not much action fight against Damian Maya. That's the first thing. The second thing is many. Many people feel as though B.J. Penn was robbed in his fight against Frankie Edgar. I personally felt that B.J. Penn won the first three rounds. Uh, I thought he easily retained his title. I, I just the, the one judge scoring at 50 to 45 was ridiculous. That's just nuts. Dana White's flipping out, as I said, about Anderson Silva. Uh, you know, he said something after the fight about, oh, Anderson Silva doesn't deserve a fight with GSP, which is totally ridiculous. I don't care how much, uh, you know, Anderson Silva fooled around or whatever. It doesn't matter. He would tear GSP apart. Next is Abu Dhabi, which hosted UFC 112. They're upset. As you can hear, they were booing for, uh, they were booing when Anderson Silva was just in surround. I'm sure they paid a lot of money to get the rights to that fight, and they are not happy with what, with what happened. Speaking of them not being happy, Henzo Gracie, who apparently has helped train some of the royal family there in Abu Dhabi. He was completely exposed by, uh, 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 who was it? Matt Hughes. Yeah, Matt Hughes. Hughes. totally exposed him completely. We also, you and I, have taken in a new Frank Mir interview, the first interview he has done on camera since being uh, beaten by Shane Cohen and uh, Fedor now with, with Anderson Silva just kind of looking lackluster and GSP not able to finish anybody Fedor clearly is the number one fighter in the world Fedor is clearly the number one fighter in the world there's no doubt about that and the thing of it is, is that there's, there's so many different reactions here and I'm just regaling our fans and viewers out there with some of my lifting videos here and stuff we'll put it on uh, we'll, we'll turn, the, we'll turn the, um, the sound off and the reason I'm doing that is because people need to clearly see what's going on what a real lifter is what real strength is Let's, let's, let's take it from the top. And the reason I'm doing that is because Frank Mir is a total wuss and a puss. And basically, if they pay me any decent money, I would love to get in the ring with him and show him what's up. I'm sure a lot of people talk about that. But, I mean, you know what? I can show that guy what's up pretty, pretty simply. If he didn't slap on a lucky submission, he'd be destroyed. His boxing's garbage. He's not that strong, even with all his supplements. And I love like I love the, the interview, and we'll link to it right over here. That the you know because the UFC and everyone's pumping up, or, or you know, or at least Frank was pumping up about how much muscle he gained. You know, 20 pounds of muscle. You know, and then some people there's even reports 30 pounds of muscle. And you know, gee, Frank, how do you do that? How do you gain 250, 245 pounds? How do you gain 20 or 30 pounds of muscle? Lean muscles. We saw the way in where you barely made the 265 weight limit, you know, showing abs. How do you do that at 30 years old? In uh, what, three months? Six months? You know? I wonder. Those are great supplements there. That's great powerlifting with Mark Philippi, brother. You know, give me a break, dude. I'm a four time national champion, okay, in powerlifting. I took a bronze medal at the world championships. I've trained pro Olympic athletes all my life. I think we both know. All right, that's my personal opinion. I'm not making any claims, or whatever. And I, like I said, I didn't even say anything. All I said is it's great training, and it's great supplements. So there you go. He's talking about all the good supplements he's using and protein powder. So there you go. Anyway, enough about that. The thing is, the point is that I think he's a mental midget. I don't think he. I mean, I'm sure he's a great martial artist. Uh, I'm sure if it was a BJJ contest or submission contest, he, you know, he he would uh, probably work me. But it's not. It's a fight. The guy doesn't have a great chin. He's shown that. He is a mental midget. He doesn't have a lot of cardio. When you're that heavy, he's nothing. I I, I, def, I feel with any reasonable amount of training, any, you know, again, I, I guarantee you, I know I'm stronger than the guy. I know I'm faster. I think I hit harder. And I know that I'm mentally tougher. 
you know, so, and my wrestling is, is excellent, and my judo is, is excellent, okay, he's got me on jiu-jitsu, but, I mean, you know, Frank Mir is a, is a wuss, I have zero problems getting in, in the cage with him for any decent amount of money, I am not worried about him at all, you know, I'll be careful not to get caught in submission, though, because that guy likes to hold his submissions a little long, we've seen that, but whatever, you know, now, Brock Lesnar, Fedor, those are two different <laughs> different deals, dude. You'd have to pay me a lot of money. I know I'd lose, but you know, <laughs> both those guys, you'd have to give me a lot of money to get in the ring with those guys. And that's a different deal. Those guys are monsters, and that's what I'm talking about here. Dana White, you need to wake up and you need to get with the program here. Brock Lesnar, you used to hate on him, now you know he's badass. That guy's a beast. Shane Carwin's a beast. Frank Mir can't deal with either one of those. Frank Mir probably get knocked out by, by uh, Dos Santos as well. But nobody compares to Fedor. And we're going to put Fedor on hold for just one second and come back to that. Well, Paul said exactly right. BJ Penn, did he get robbed? I mean, ultimately, yeah. I mean, I'm not comfortable calling it a robbery, but I mean, it was a close fight. I gave BJ three or four of those rounds, you know. I think they were close rounds. But I think you can't take the belt away from a champion like that. That's that's ridiculous. And you know, and, and I don't mean that you have to just beat the champion's ass to win, but I'm just saying where well, you don't have a lot going on around and it's a coin toss, then it should go to the to the champion. And BJ clearly had the sharper punches, the harder punches. Um I, I think Frankie Edwards is just trying to do a, a Force Griffin on him. Force Griffin versus um Jackson. Pity Pat, oh I'll just be busy and and, and, and act like I'm doing something and that's going to win a round. I mean, I guess. I mean, I look at it. I, I, score, I score rounds the, pretty much, the, you know, the same way that um, uh, um, uh, Kellerman likes to score rounds. You know, who, who would you have rather been in that round or in that fight? I would have rather been BJ Penn. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, Frank was just basically, you know, jabbing and sticking and moving to save his life. Now, on the Silva fight, you know, Here's my deal. You know, Dana White's flipping out, throwing his belt at, you know, at the Anderson's belt at people. Oh, he walked out of the fight. Oh, it's so embarrassing. It's that, whatever. Fundamentally, how is that different than a GSP fight? Any GSP fight. Seriously. GSP fights to win. Anderson fights to win. He had a situation where this guy's only shot was on the ground, where he was some super Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi freaking, you know, uh, submission champion. Great. Why would you go to the ground with that guy? That's his only chance to win, you know. In if you can't catch Silva and you can't hurt him on the on the on the feet or take him to the ground, that's your problem. That's not Silva's problem. Silva's there to win. He's not there to get beat up to make Dana White look good and make him a lot of money. I mean, ultimately, obviously, they're related. It is a promotion, but I mean, you know, Dana White's just looking out for his angle. He doesn't care who gets knocked out. He doesn't care who wins. In general, that's my opinion. Obviously, this is all my opinion from front to back, the whole nine yards. When I can claim claims on anyone, or anything like that, or, or, or stating, or trying to assert any facts. Um, you know, so Anderson's got to take care of his thing. He just basically pulled up a cheetah. Everyone thinks is so good. Oh, he can't get hit. Or Rashad, Rashad's so good. Sugar, sugar Rashad. You know, Rashad, Sugar Evans. You know, he can't get hit. Well, you know, guess what? Uh, Silva's no dummy. He didn't want to get hit. And David Myers like looking. Oh, you gotta come down here. Look at the ref. We don't have to come down there and and BJJ. If you can't, and he tried to rush in to Silva, and he tried to do the same. It didn't work. Not Silva's problems. That's the bottom line. And so that's the deal. I mean, no different than again, like uh, uh, you know, um, uh, you'll have. GSP, who basically does what he wants, you know, that's going to work for him, which is basically hold on to someone, ground and pound. Did he stand with Dan Hardy? Nope. Did he stand with Tiago Alves? Nope. Were people booing? Not really. Did, did Dana White, you know, was, was he disgusted to give him his championship belt? Not really. And here's the thing I love about Dana White and, and the UFC. You know, what was it, one or two fights ago or really all the time? He's the best pound for pound in the world. He's so great, this and that, whatever, and blah, blah, blah. You know, and now he's the worst thing ever. It's a scourge of, of, of UFC MMA. Well, how is this fight much different than a lot of, G, uh, of Anderson Silva fights we've seen? Not that different. It's the way he fights. Same thing with the GSP fights. And what it does clearly is with the GSP lackluster, boring performance, 
with a freaking hug fest ground and pound, which is, look, again, it's the same thing, it's fine. People, you know, and I don't hate on GSP. I like them all. I like GSP. I like, you know, so I'm just, if you can't stop GSP from taking you down, if you take off, that's your problem. GSP's in there to win and fight. He's a champion. If you if you don't know what GSP is going to do and you step in there, you can't complain if you can't deal with it. It's just, you're an idiot, okay? So, that's the way I feel about that, you know. But we've seen GSP basically, sh you know, show you know show his flaws. We've seen the same thing with Silva, and now BJ Penn's loss. So now all these BS rankings of MMA Live, this and that, whatever, that had Fedor fourth or fifth. Are you freaking crazy? Are you insane?